what's up everybody good morning flat car guy back with you again with another video camera's leading a bit but it's all right uh today they're doing a final cars and coffee up at grand touring they're a dealership for lamborghini austin martin i think bentley some other stuff so we're gonna go see what's there check out what the best cars are as always and yeah it should be a good one the weather's beautiful today we got some good weather for canada at this time of the year so gonna take advantage of it and get to it but of course cold start on the mozzie first nothing like a cold start with a nice exhaust anyways let me get out of here I'm about to pull up and i see this the back crazy aventador i'll get a bit see the crowd around green carbon custom 1221 wheels only Tim would put custom wheels on a hybrid car green carbon engine there for Monte now for those of you that don't know this is the McLaren P1 these go for about, I think his specs out at about three million, three and a half million. So this is a MSO option to have the full green carbon body on this one. So he paid a hefty premium. Uh, this is a hybrid car, so it has some electric motors as well. I think it's like 900 horsepower. It was McLaren's top of the line car before the Senate came out. So this was their top of the top. Even that hood scoop you see on the top, all a bunch of crazy options. That is full green carbon, guys. Even down to the splitter is green carbon. Of course, happy hippie. Sorry, dude. Straight nasty. And going along with this other car. His Bugatti is full carbon red exposed. So again, this one I think totaled out at about four and a half, five million. Custom wheels again, done by Anarchy. Custom red interior. Dry carbon inside, even on the door. Doing good, good, good. Good to see you again. Likewise. Got both of the big guns today. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, guys. Red exposed carbon outside. 
have a Huracan Performante. So Performante, again, is the performance version of a Huracan. A bit more horsepower, I think 630 or 640 or something like that. Center lock wheels. And the main difference between the Performante and the regular Huracan is you have this aerodynamic system here, this ALA. I forget what it stands for, but I'll put it in the description. But basically, it's the aerodynamics of the car. So, air feeds under the wing. I don't know if you can see these vents up here. Air feeds through there, goes down through this hollow tube, comes out the bottom. You also get the center exhaust on this one. And so all of this is part of the aero system. So these side vents going through, and then at the front, this front splitter is all part of the hala system, directing air up and through the car for better aerodynamic on the track. Again, this thing just looks crazy. Bugatti Chiron, if I didn't say the name. And here comes a Ford GT. Classic Ford. And then here we have the newest Huracan to enter the lineup. So this is the 2020 Huracan Evo. So on the Evo, sorry, let me focus here. The Evo is the newest Huracan. So they took the center exit from the Performante. It doesn't have the ALA system that the Performante has. So this is kind of like a blend between. Previous Huracan 610 and the Performante. So you have that center exhaust. Uh, another big improvement is that touch screen. In previous Huracan, everything was up in the clutches. So you didn't actually have a radio to touch or nothing. You controlled everything on a little dial and buttons and then had to look at it in there. So on this one, they integrated a touch screen on the newer version. So this is the spider of the Evo. Beautiful blue color. So again, Performante with the big wing. Performante with the big wing and that a la aerodynamic system. And then you have the Evo with the more subtle wing.
also showed up. Purpose built. Never will you see this. 